Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. This video is all about starting tomatoes and your cool weather crops outdoors. You don't need grow lights. I'm going to show you how I basically do a winter sowing method using these clear containers and I'll go over that in more detail. I have a whole series on starting your seeds indoors. These all were started in my grow room upstairs. I'll link the video to show you how to do that. But this series is all about direct sowing. If you want to subscribe, I'll be doing a complete series on how do you plant seeds directly in the garden? How do you start plants outdoors even when it is cold out and you're getting a frost? It's uh, St. Patrick's Day here in Maryland and these plants have been growing for two weeks and I'm going to go over the whole process. Let me break them down and I'll show you how I do it. So this is just basically a modified method to winter sowing. Instead of using the milk jugs and putting them outside and you know growing a smaller amount of plants, just use these totes. I recommend the clear totes. They let more light in. You can get them at Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, wherever you want to get them. So the setup's pretty basic. On the side over here we have the cool weather crops. Over here we have tomatoes and peppers. In fact, the tomatoes and peppers are over there and along with some, I'm sorry, the tomatoes are right here. The peppers and eggplant are right over there. Now, first thing I want to tell you is they're going to take a lot longer to germinate. So if the seed pack says whatever, add two weeks to it. Indoors, your cool weather crops are going to germinate in like five, six, seven days. Outdoors, they're going to take up to 14 days. Your tomato plants might take longer. Most of these are germinated, but some of them are just starting to break the surface. If you look down there you can see some that are just breaking the surface. My peppers have not popped yet and the eggplant just broke the surface yesterday. So these went into the ground on February 24th or into the container or into the cells on February 24th. Today is 317 so it's been 22 days. Now there's some differences. First what's common is when you plant these you're going to just use potting mix. Any kind of potting mix is fine. Um, it can have fertilizer, it can not have fertilizer. We're going to feed these with a water-soluble organic when they're a little bit bigger. But just go ahead and use potting mix. It's cheaper than starting mix. You can use starting mix if you want to. You're going to plant them the same way as I do in my indoor series, which I will link the playlist. So planting is really not the issue today. It's the principles of this method. When you're germinating, both the cold weather crops, cool weather crops, and the warm weather crops are going to come indoors when the temperatures are under 50 degrees. For germination, you like the soil to be warm. The seeds like to be warm. They're going to germinate more quickly. Your cool weather crops, if you left them outside, they will still germinate, but it's going to take longer. So one of the goals is to use the indoor warmth at night to warm up the cells, warm up the seeds, warm up the roots, and they're going to grow more quickly, they're going to germinate more quickly. Now, once your cool weather crops look something like this, they've broken the surface, when it gets into the 40s, they can stay outside. They can take a light frost, they can take a freeze, they are good to go in the cold temperatures. If it's going to get, you know, to 32 degrees and freezing, try and bring them inside. If you forget, these guys will be okay. Now, your warm weather crops crops same thing is bring these indoors when you're germinating and the temperature is going to fall below 50 degrees but even after they germinate when it falls into the 40s under 50 bring them inside they like to stay warm they like 50 plus degree nights while your cool weather crops like can handle nights in the 40s you know they prefer the cooler weather if a frost is coming these will be killed off by the frost so you have to really keep an eye on them so this is 22 days worth of growth for your transplants for the tomatoes and again you can see that they've all kind of germinated at different speeds different rates peppers are going to take much longer and eggplant is somewhere in between so those are the three warm weather crops you can really do this way now these do come with lids. I only recommend using them if it's going to be raining that day. You don't want the containers to fill up with water. You could put small holes in here if you know you don't have lids and the water will drain out. That's perfectly fine. But you don't want to use the li lids 24-7 because they generate, they create a, a, a microclimate with lots of humidity and I've already had molds and fungus break out on here. Because you're using potting mix, it's got different things in there. If you make it really humid, you're going to get lots of mold and lots of fungus. Not all of it's bad, but you don't need it. Um, so only use the lids when it's going to be rained on. Now some of the benefits to starting this way 
R1 saves you a lot of money. I know that there are 15 cells in here, that's 90 plants. These six packs usually cost, uh, actually I know right now they're 398 at Home Depot. So figure out how much you're saving that way. When you buy tomato plants, if you buy a single plant, it's easily two, three, four dollars. So you're gonna save a lot of money. You don't need the expense of grow lights. You can just move these in and out as you need. And you're, you know, this one container, I mean, is a little bit larger holds 90 plants. This one's a little bit smaller, but it also holds, what's that, seven times six, 42 tomato plants. It's a good savings. The other benefit is, is when you grow this way, because they're already outside, they're used to the cold, they're used to the wind, they're used to the sun and the UV rays, you don't have to spend a week or so acclimating the plants. So these are all grown indoors. This guy needs some water. But they're getting used to the sun right now, so it's going to be a week before I can get them into the ground. So the only thing I would say when you're doing uh, your transplants this way and you're doing your seed starts this way, allow yourself a little bit more time to get these plants established and get them growing, but they're going to do really, really well in your garden. In about, probably let's say, two weeks for these plants, they're going to go out in the garden. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll show you how I take all of these out into the garden and transplant them. But I'm gonna be doing this whole series on how do you start seeds outdoors like this? How do you direct sow and how do you really plant a garden without having to you know, have indoor grow lights? I like doing it, not everybody enjoys doing it, not everybody has the budget to buy grow lights, and not everybody has the room. So we can go back to the standard way of just starting your seeds outdoors. This cool weather method, this winter sowing method, um, adapted this way makes it really easy for you to save a lot of money, have some fun, and grow transplants just by moving these containers in and outdoors. So at 22 days from putting the seeds in, I have spinach, Bloomsdale, long-standing, arugula, Chinese heading cabbage, premier kale, some more arugula. That is a I think Copenhagen cabbage, early Wakefield cabbage, purple Vienna kohlrabi, some mustard greens, perpetual Swiss chard, dwarf Siberian kale, Georgia collards, we have Grand Rapids lettuce, black seeded symptom, Simpson lettuce, endive, which I really recommend if you've not, if you like greens, try the endives. This is a blue curled scotch kale, red Russian kale, and that is a broadleaf Batavian endive. And to round out the cool weather crops, I have bull bloods, yeah, bull's blood beets right there. That is a red romaine. Cilantro is actually a cool season crop, believe it or not. Flat leaf parsley starting to pop, and that's salad bowl red lettuce. Now in here, I didn't take them out because they're all basically the same, but these are different tomatoes at different sizes. Some of them haven't even germinated yet. Like you can see that one just breaking the surface. So your tomatoes are going to take some time to germinate this way, but you can grow transplants really easily using this, you know, winter sowing kind of cold, cold weather method. You just bring them in and out. And then right in there in the container closest to you on the right, those are peppers. They haven't broken the surface yet. And then all the way in, in the back, the far three cells, that is eggplant. So the eggplants are starting to break the surface. So I'm doing eggplant, peppers, and tomatoes as my, war as my warm season crops, and all of these as a cold season crops. And you can just do a quick calculation in your head about how much you'd have to spend if you were buying these as transplants. They're easily, uh, I think the standard price I see now is $3.98 a six pack, and then tomatoes and peppers, of course, are about three bucks a plant. So you don't need grow lights. You can just get these containers, you can move them in and out, use the lids when it rains, take care of the plants when it's getting close to frost, bring them inside. Cool weather plants can stay outside once they germinate when it's in the 40s or warmer, keep them outside. Your tomato plants, you do wanna bring in when the temperatures get into the 40s because they like the warmer weather uh, for the root system. So you're gonna use your house. And it's real easy, I just, you know, my house is obviously behind me, I just bring them out here Take care of them on my way to the garden, and they're doing really, really well. Hope this gives you some confidence to start your own transplants. You don't have to worry about lights, acclim acclimating them to the uh, UV rays of the sun, and you can save yourself a lot of money, and it's a lot of fun.
Thanks for watching. Please check out my seed shop and please subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing a whole series on seed starting outdoors, direct sowing, and just taking care of your plants um, as if you walked out to the garden and you were getting them ready to go without doing all that indoor grow light stuff, which I love, but some of you don't like it. So here's another way to do it.